like to eat junk food. For what reason the people like to eat junk food? Because think about the possible cause, please. Let me know in the section comment. Hey, man. Yes? Mr. Uh, well, in my opinion, I consider that the main cause of people eat only junk food is because sometimes they, they don't know that junk food only make damage on their bodies. And as a result, I mean, as an effect, they get fat easily and faster. Yes, obesity, right? The people get obesity. Yes. Yes. Well, and a possible cause for the young food it is uh, fast food, right? Yes. I read a session comment, Milena Nieto. Milena, Milena Nieto said one cause for young food could be that people like young food because it is faster. Yes. Very taste. The effect serious health problem and events that yes that is a good idea what is the effect yes and then we have almost the same the first topic the last one student scholarship what is the student scholarships what will be the cause and what will be the possible effects for that topic? The student scholarship. Let me know in the session comment or turn on the microphone, please. The student scholarships get a good grade. It will be the it counts. Get a good grade. Yes. And uh, in effect, it will be um, get a scholarship overseas in another countries, another city. It will be in effect. You have an account, good grade will be the effect that will you get a scholarship overseas. And We continue. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. That is important for a student to know and understand what cause and effect situation are. They should be able to identify an event that is responsible for the cause that results in effects. Identifying these three things can help create an analytical thinker and man that can work through complex problems. That is good to know. And what is the purpose for that paragraph? Cause and effect. A cause and effect is a tale of one event, the cause, right? Led to another event that is the effects. The action that you do and what you pay for that. In other words, your safe may focus more on effects on a cause or more on the cause of one effect. You can mention one effect in a lot of cause or a lot of cause uh, or one cause and a lot of effects, right? Either approach provide a useful means of discussing the possible relationship between two events. Yes, remember that is focus and two events, cause and effects. And then we have some characteristics of cause and event paragraphs, multiple cause and effects, clear purpose, clear thesis statement, logical organization, and detailed analysis. That is simple. This is um, some characteristics for that paragraph, cause and effects. 
and then um, some tips, five great tips for a good paragraph. The first one is brainstorming. If you want to write a good paragraph, fit it all, you should well infer about the topic. You can get the information as possible you can. Brainstorming about the topic will make you end up with a topic that you are confident of. Number two, made a list of accounts in effect. After the brainstorming, before to start to write, made a list. Divide the paper into two and write the accounts on the right side and the effect on the left. Write and effects, accounts and effects, right? This list will ease you about finding the logical link between the counts and effects. Uh, number three, write your topic sentence and online the paragraph. Be sure that you start with the topic sentence to your paragraph. If you're formulating your topic sentence before starting to write, it will help you not become off the topic, of topic, right? Then keep your cause and effect in chronological order. Number four, be sure that you are giving the effect in the same order for the cause. Don't forget the transition sentences because it connects the cause and effects in, into an apartment. The transition sentence is crucial. If you forget to write the transition sentence, you will end up with an incomplete paragraph, right? Therefore, connect the cause and effect with a significant transition sentence. And the last one, use the language correctly. The language when you are writing cause and effect paragraph is essential. There are some words and phrases that can be used. Words and phrases driving the cause. You can use one, another cause. One, another reason why the first cow, the second, the second cow, the third cow. Well, the first reason, the second reason, the third reason. Yet another factors because it's caused by result runs. There are phrases that describe the cows. You can use when you are describing the cows. And then we have words and phrases that are describing the effects. One important effect, another result, a dear outcome, as a result, as a consequence. Consequently, for this reason, one of the effects, result, or consequence. Those are the words that describe an effect. And last one, we have some resource. We have a YouTube video, Cause and Effect Paragraph. I have web page, Cause and Effect Paragraph. And there are a PDF that is Cause and Effect Paragraph with some detail. For that, which we have an activity because always after the video conference, the Mr. Portillo left, left you hours. And this, the, this week, after attending the conferences, create a structure for the activity of this week. In a Word document, make a cause and effect paragraph. You must have to detail the format of the paragraph using literal as an example. Do you remember what you saw in the example? Literal A, literal B, literal C, literal D. There are more uh, costly for you. After that you may a chart where you describe the cause and effects of the paragraph. Don't forget, include a professional cover space. When, when I said, May a chart where you describe cause and effect is the same that the practice. You will write the topic, you will write the cause, you will write the effects in that order. 
if, if you write the topic, jumpers, right? Because we have that topic. I will show you. Well, here, topic ideas, we have five topic ideas. You choose one. It will be called bullying, social media addiction, rush out traffic, shuttle obesity, climate change. You will choose just one and write an effect paragraph. Then I mentioned that I want a chart. What is a chart? Like this one. You write a topic and you write, you write uh, possible causes and possible effects. That is for more detail, that paragraph. And for that, I consider that is all. And I grateful for you attending this video conference. I don't know if you have any questions. Let me know in the session comment, please. Do you have any questions? Question? Question? Yes, you will make a cause and effect paragraph, and then you will underline the literal A, B, C, D, and then you will make a chart with the topics, cause and effects. That is, that's it. Yes. If, the list here is, I think that everything is clear about us. Yes. All right, mate. So, I am. Um, yes. I have a question. Yes. We're going to do the paragraph and the chart, both. Uh, firstly, you made the paragraph and then you will make a, a chart. Finally. Okay. Yes. Yes, nobody else has any questions? Everything is clear? Everything is clear. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know, William, if you will say something to them before we finish with the class, or that's it. Um, no, uh, I would commend that it's not ungrateful for the student because they participate in the sessions, and I know in the future you will hear in my face. Yeah, that's right. So thanks a lot to everyone because you were paying attention to him and you weren't participating. Remember that this is something that you will be doing once, okay? Uh, you will be yes. doing what once you are in the fifth grade, you will do the same as William. So thanks a lot for for being patient, for participating, for supporting him, okay? So Mr. Sanchez, you did an amazing as well. Uh, you will stay with me uh, when we finish this class, okay? And I don't know if you don't have more questions. Well, we are done. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And if you have a question later on, you can let us know on the chat, okay? Using WhatsApp. So that's it. Bye-bye, guys. Take care a lot, okay? William and Santos, you stay with me.